couple teams are looking at me at 17 and 19 and 20. That's probably as high as they're looking at me right now. Who knows? I, I feel like I did a great job today of giving a lot of effort and, and answering those lack of footwork and lack of explosiveness questions. So um, first and foremost, I gave effort, but they're telling me somewhere between 17, 18, certain teams who like me in that area, and it can drop all the way to 35. You know, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a lot of teams in that area are, are wanting to see me work out. Straight back. What do you think, uh, why do you think some guys decided not to participate in this? Um, okay, I understand certain guys like Wiggins and Parker, maybe MB back, but I don't understand the other guys who are, who are in my position, you know, tweener, first round, second round guy. I really, and I really don't understand it. You know, I feel like someone's hiding something. You know, maybe your agent doesn't have as much confidence in you as you think he may have. And that's, if my agent told me not to work out, I would second guess him because he, I, I would say, man, what you don't have confidence that I can do certain things that I can dominate in these drills. Now that you're going through the process, what do you think can, you know, how can this be improved? Um, how can, how can? The draft process, like, you know, all that, the workouts and the okay. and all stuff you're going through. Well, going in college, I never really had confidence to, to do things that I was able to do when I first got into college. I feel like I did more versatile things my freshman year than I did my uh, junior year. And um, in high school, I never touched a block. Never, ever did coach did, did a coach ever put me on the block. Everything was facing up, handling the ball. I think it helped me later in double teams. But um, Coach Martin always told me, stick with the process. He said, this process, they'll see who has talent, who's been working on their game, who can do this and who can do that. But for right now, while you're at Tennessee, I need you to be a beast under the basket. And, uh, I did that. I tried to lead the country in rebounding. A um, couple games I got in a little foul trouble, and some games it was. But I feel like, um, you know, for the most part, when the team needed me most, I showed up. And in, in the big games, I, I was a big time player. How important is it to believe in yourself when you're making this journey? It is very important. You you have to have confidence, but you know you don't get confidence out of nowhere. You you have to work hard and and, and believe in yourself to have confidence. You have to see the ball go in 500 times a day before you believe that you're going to hit that shot in the game. And um, that's what I try to encourage players to uh, you know continue working on their their the things that they're not good at. So when they get in these workouts, uh, I mean it's it's easy because you know in college sometimes coaches want you doing what they want. Well, what benefits the team, and um, but I'm, I'm trusting the process, and I really think this process will help out a lot of bigs like myself. What do you guys need to work on? What are you working on now to, to you know to get, succeed at the next level? Well, well, first of all, my, my effort is there. You know, I'm competing in every drill, and, and if I miss 100 shots, I'll still compete and, and have positive energy and, and uh, help the players around me. But um, I'm definitely working on my jump shot. I feel like certain. Um, Guys don't didn't see me shoot in college, and I don't I don't blame. Them. I wouldn't think I can shoot either, but um, you know a lot of that is from uh, you know the coach telling me I have to stay under the basket. You know I'm, I'm 40 pounds bigger than my opponent, so of course that's what I'm going to do. And uh, number two would be just having skill and, and sticking to my bread and butter. Of course I'm, I'm much stronger than most guys here, so I definitely want to showcase that. But I want to balance it with a face-up game and and being able to hit shots. Where'd you get your work ethic from? I think it comes from my dad. You know, my dad is from the military, and he definitely trained me early to be a, a beast in what I am now. Um, he woke me up 5 a.m. when I was like seven years old every day before school to do push-ups and sit-ups, and he was very strict on me. I'm talking like beating on doors, and and um, at meals, you could tell he was in the military because he would be done with his meal in one minute while everyone was still serving food. So. I get a lot of my discipline and work ethic from my dad. What support do your family give you? Uh, they give me a lot of support. They're sort of quiet, reserved, somewhat like myself, and I've learned a lot to come out of my shell, to t ask, seek advice, talk to guys, cheer guys on doing workouts, have great body language, and you know, it, it all comes from my family. It's, it's sort of a discipline type thing, but 
You know, it helps me out a lot as far as um, having their their support because I know they're very genuine. You know, during the tournament, you know, Charles Barkley called you the man's man, you know. Like, what's it, not, what's it like to when, you know, Hall of Fame guys like that, you know, compliment you on your game and, and what you're like, you know, how you play? That's one of my favorite players. I, I watch his highlights all the time, you know, sort of very undersized, not not undersized, very undersized, and he was still able to be a beast, and he played both ends of the floor, and he didn't let anyone punk him. And that's that's my mindset. You know, if I, if I can't shoot, dribble, anything, I'm, the effort is going to be there. I'm going to run the floor, and, and no one will punk me. So um, I think I can bring toughness to a team. What was it like making the decision to actually come out and, you know, enter the draft? I felt like I was ready. You, when, when, when you double teamed your whole career and, and you're still putting up good numbers against lottery picks and, and guys with great, great defensive players, I, I feel like I was ready. Um, I feel like I made a good run towards the end. I, I, I gave Tennessee what they wanted, and that was to be back on the pedestal because when we got there, Tennessee basketball was dead. And, and that was big for me, just a hometown. That was, that was basically my home state, and I was able to put Tennessee back on the pedestal. What's it going to be like in late June if you hear your name called? What's going to go through your mind? Um, I'm just going to thank God. I'm going to thank everyone who whoever helped me in. Probably going to be in tears for the first time since last year. I remember when I was going through this process last year of do I want to come out. I was, I was in tears because all these teams were telling me, you're not this, you're not that, you're not what you think you are. And that just helped me work harder and harder. And I eventually lost 15 pounds and continue working on my game even more. And and it pushed me to be where I am right now. Thanks, so. Be good, right. man. Be Thank safe. you. Take care. Yes, sir. Just to elaborate on what your biggest strengths are, what you're trying to reinforce at the combine here. Um, my biggest strength is strength. I mean, of, of course, I, of course, I know that's my bread and butter, and I'm, I'm never going to get away from that. But I think I'll be a magical problem when it comes to um, certain guys who are, are, are smaller than me and certain guys who are bigger than me who can't move their feet as well as I can. Is there something specific that you want to improve on as we get closer to the draft? Uh, I think there's a lot of things I can improve on. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm six eight, six eight and a half, six nine, whatever you want to call it. But first and foremost, I'm a, I'm a basketball player. You know, you just put me out there on the floor, and I'm going to produce. I'm going to get you um, 10, 10 to 15 rebounds in anywhere I play, and uh, I'm going to bring toughness to the floor. And I, I think. You know, the shooting and all other things, I'll continue working on it. And if the coach want me to do that, that's what I'll do. And I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm very confident in it. Never really gotten true confidence in college to do it because I felt like that's never want, what the coach wanted me to do. And uh, I just want to continue doing what the coach want me to do. And, uh, and if he want me to do whatever, if he want me to, if, if he want me to stick to my bread and butter, that's what I'll do.